Big Triangle. Um, personally, when I, I, I always take this book, I take kids, I'm working with it with Brenton. Oh, I'm glad yeah, that Kevin is interesting. We're at the Old Station Hotel in Spean Bridge, as now we find out it's pronounced. We've had a fairly wet and blustery day so far, and the canoeing's been quite hard. So we're looking forward to tomorrow, but I've got to be honest, we're slightly apprehensive because we've got an adverse wind and the landlord of our B&B has told us three people died on the lock last year. So if our motto is safety first, it's going to be severely challenged tomorrow. So we're about halfway along Loch Lochy at the moment, not seeing much sunshine, lots of clouds, but the wind, which we're quite worried about, has actually been fine so far. We've had a bit of a wind behind us, nothing too major, making good progress, and we should be at the end of Loch Lochy by about two o'clock this afternoon. Tonight we're going to eat at the Invergarry Hotel across the water there. We're getting a lift around the lock, but Kevin and Mike insist on paddling across in the canoe, so we don't know whether they're going to make it or not. Dougal McDougal would certainly say not to be undertaken lightly, but then they know what they're doing I suppose, possibly. Completely mad, absolutely completely mad. We've got a lift here, we're gonna get a lift home. But they got, they clearly got a lot of money that time. Well, we just canoed up uh, Lock Week for about, well, we thought it would, I, well, I thought it would be about 20 minutes, but it ended up being an hour because it was about two and a half miles. So we kept thinking we were almost there, but we weren't. But you're here now. But we're here now. I'm very happy and very pleased to be eating this delicious food at the Invergarry Hotel. Not moving yet. Yeah, but it's getting to that headline. She said it would take us two, uh, she said it was two miles. It wasn't two miles. Nah. What's it about the depth of locks that gets you go to? Well, I mean, a lot of this holiday has been based on locks so far, and the depth of the locks when you're canoeing is quite interesting. And what annoys me about this map, 
and indeed some of the maps we've got is some of these locks have no depth in at all they could be particularly other locks that actually look quite small you can see the depth and here's Lock Oik where we are today really you know quite deep and that the depth of the lock also informs uh, the wave height and so on and I don't think this map is an adequate guide. We're walking the first part home and then we're going to canoe down Loch Oik and rejoin Pedro, Neil, Nigel and Peter at the water park on the far side of Loch Oik. That's if we get past the Glasgow, the Glasgow stack party. Bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just two widgets. I'm afraid it's not it's not good. Recklessness, sheer tomfoolery, frankly. I still think they will sink before they make it. And there was I think Peter was asking to help us. But actually no. That was good timing. Um it's beautiful. I mean, it's almost like a mill pond, though. The uh, oh, <laughs> sorry, Devin. <laughs> we got back to our uh, we got back to our thing, and the lads from the uh, the lads from the uh, sack party said, "Oh, we burnt your canoe." <laughs> How we laughed. <laughs> How we laughed. Oh. Yeah. Just finished the traverse of the highlands from Fort William in the west up to Loch Ness in the east. Yeah, it is that right way around. And it was much faster than we expected, especially the descent down Loch, uh, down the river Oik, which was really quite bewildering. Uh, and the arrival in Loch Ness was just fantastic. It's quite a mysterious lock 
and we expected to see something there. We didn't quite know what it was. And we did see something as well. We still don't know what it is. We're just outside this pub behind me here and we'll be discussing it all evening. But it's been the end of a most marvellous uh, holiday. And we've been lucky with the weather as well. Thank you.